And your target? Good boy. Okay, moms, Good let's boy. face it. This baby may be cuter than yours and a lot more famous. He's Bebe. Born at the Smithsonian Institution's National Zoo in Washington, D.C. last August. His arrival made headlines, even though he wasn't much to look at then. They are about one nine hundredth the size of mother. They're really, really tiny. They always say like a stick of butter. They're like right? a stick of butter, yeah, exactly. But they're really tough. Holding them in your hand, you'd be surprised at how sturdy they feel. Well, they're born hairless and blind? Yes, they are blind and deaf. Marty Deary is a panda keeper, one of about two dozen employees, aided by 60 volunteers who keep the giant pandas happy and healthy. <laughs> Bebe will stay with Mother Mei Xiang till he's about two. Father Tian Tian and big sister Bao Bao have their own separate, specially designed habitats, as pandas are usually solitary creatures. Almost every move they make is captured by the zoo's famous panda cams. Remember when this video went viral last winter? Did the zoo have any idea how popular the panda cams would be? I don't think anybody could predict the incredible popularity, but what I love is that this is science in real life, in real time. Brandy Smith, who oversees the zoo's panda operation, says the cameras help volunteers keep detailed logs of each animal's daily activities. It must be getting warm outside because she's indicating that she's warm. Right now we're looking at Mei Xiang and Bebe to look at mother-cub interactions, hoping we can learn from that and hoping we can help make more pandas in the future. More pandas because they are a highly endangered species. Found only in China, there are only about 1,800 in the wild as humans have encroached on their territory. No. Nope. Good boy, get all the way in. So the pandas at the National Zoo Jesus. get frequent checkups. And in a rare oh, behind the scenes way. visit, we got to see there how they're are. trained to cooperate. I don't think you're in the middle of the scale. <laughs> Biologist Lori Thompson coaxes Bebe to weigh in. Oh, 43 pounds, 43 and a half pounds. The reward, a sweet potato. He's curious about anything new that is in his enclosure. Am I allowed to pet him? No. <laughs> yes, these cuddly creatures can bite. At almost three years and 180 pounds, Bao Bao, Bebe's sister, Good does girl. her training through a cage. All the way in. Open. Good. In exchange Good for girl. a delicious stream of honey water. Good girl. It's how she grows accustomed to everything oh, from open. dental exams open. Good. to Good blood girl. tests, according to panda keeper Tally Wiles. Good girl, Bao. If you do a blood stick for her, does it hurt her? They might feel it initially like a little pinch, like a person does as well, but she's getting that honey reward, which is much more fantastic than anything she's going through. It was panda diplomacy that brought the first two pandas to the National Zoo. I think they're adorable and endearing creatures. Sing Sing and Ling Ling were a gift from the Chinese government in 1972, after President Nixon's historic visit to the country. But that panda parent never produced a cub that survived. In contrast, Bebe's parents, who were here on loan from the Chinese government, have produced three healthy cubs, including Tai Shan, now almost 11 and living in China. But it hasn't been easy. The giant pandas are a species that is very difficult to reproduce and care for in captivity, primarily because our knowledge of their biology has been uh, very rudimentary until the last decade or so. Stephen Monfort is director of the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute in Front Royal, Virginia. A key mission here is studying panda reproduction. The female only matures and ovulates one time per year. So you have about a 36-hour window of fertility once a year with a giant panda. Make sure. By collecting urine samples, researchers have been able to pinpoint exactly when she is fertile and ready for a visit from Tian Tian. But so far, they haven't 
been able to connect the parts, if I've got a, that right. That's a nice way of putting it. There's an anatomical mismatch, let's say. To tell you the truth, ladies, it's apparently a performance issue on the male panda's part. One, two, three. So Bebe was conceived by artificial insemination. Sadly, his twin did not survive, but every panda that makes it is considered a minor miracle. They're still under threat, and so we are in a race against time. We have much, much more work to do. Bao Bao and Bei Bei will be sent to China within a few years, so we should enjoy them while we can. And the zoo's Brandy Smith says there's a primal reason why we are so delighted by the antics of these creatures. When you see something that touches your heart, there's a biochemical reaction. So you produce the same chemicals associated with childbirth. They make you happier. Eat your sweet potato. You got it? You become a better person by watching these pandas.